Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching all my videos which I am posting here and do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this and uh, let's jump into the today's topic. So the today's topic which I am planning to discuss is about the Pareto principle, right? What is Pareto principle is all about? So the Pareto principle says that there is a 80-20 rule should be applied. Right. So, what does it 80-20 rule is all about, right? And how this rule will fit to my model, whichever model I worked, and how it can give you certain information which helps the business, right? So, I given two three points here. If you see this, the first point which is saying that 80% of the sales is coming from the 20% of the products. So, I have let's say. Uh, thousand products which I'm uh, I have in my company. Okay, out of that, the 80% sales is coming only from the 20% only. The rest of the products are somehow it is not sold, it is not getting sold. And whatever the could be the reason here. So this will help you to identify which products are really help in growing my business. Right? Another example I can say in the second example, it's like 80% of the sales coming from the 20% of the customer, okay. So, we have a customer who is doing the sales now. Out of that, we are saying that only 20% of the customer is giving me sales. The rest of the people, somehow they are not coming or they are not doing the business with us. So, it is, it is, it will help you there. Third person, suppose you are taking some business decision, right. And 80% of your business decision is always coming from the 20% of the time. Rest of the time you are not taking decision so you are you are a quick decision maker right and this is this is this this kind of analysis we can these are the examples which can fit to the business okay so here we will talk about the first this one in this video which is 80 percent of the sales coming from the 20 percent of the products so it means that we need to identify which are the products is giving me 80 percent sales it could be more than 20%, it could be 20%. Let's see how the things are working. Now, how we can do it? Let's go to the Power BI first. And I have already a total sales column in this model, which is very basic model only. If you see my model, it is just like my, the, the customer, product, sales, and dates. That's it. And some campaigns and geography information. Nothing big deal on that, okay. And for that, I have created a total sales here, which is nothing but a sum x of the unit cost into the sales unit. That's it. So now let's take a table here and I want to put my product ID because anyway I need to get the product information only, right? So let me go to the product table, bring up the product ID and I need to bring up my total sales here. Okay, so let's total sales also. Don't put any decimal number. Let's put a whole number here. All right. So this is my total sales. Right now, I need to calculate what I need to calculate. First of all, eighty percent of the sales coming from the twenty percent of the customer. So anyway, I need to calculate eighty percent of sales on the model completely. Right. So let's calculate first that 80% of the sales. So if I take the new measure here, 80% of my sales, what is the value I should get it? Okay, let's say how to calculate. If I take a formula, let me zoom in this is little bit. So normally if I say total sales, okay, into 0 0.8, right? this is my 80% of your sales. So, if I take it like this, what is the problem I will face? Let's see. If I take a card here, okay, and I putting my 80% of the sales here, okay, change the unit. Let's go to the call out value here for this model and display unit, I'm putting none. So, this is my 80% of the sales. But if you select something from any visualization, suppose let's take it is changing, right? But it should not change because 80% sales should be fixed. It should be prop for the proper model, correct? It should not change by any of the selection 
neither from the visual side nor from the outside. So what I will do for that, I will go to my 80% sales and wrap this up inside my calculate. Okay, and then I will put the all function here. So it will consider, it will not change from any of the filter which is coming from in the model. That is all. Okay, enter. Now if you see, if you select something here, anything, this value will not, never change. Because any, not product ready, anything. Okay, so this is my overall uh, the 80% sales. So this is also, let me make it as a whole number. Okay, this is my 80% sales. Alright, I got it. So now, let's push this into the column. So across the column, I am getting my 80% of the sales here. All right. So now we need to calculate something like the 20. How I can say that which sales is is fit to 25991630? What I need to do is like make a running total of this total sales. It will sum up, sum up, sum up, sum up, sum up, sum up, and where it reaches this. 80% of the sales 25991630 or near to somehow those are the products only it is those are the 20% products which is giving me the 80% sales on this case right make sense so for that I need to calculate a running total new and here I will uh, teach you another very important function which is very new to the power bi also that is called the window function. Let's see how to create the windows function and get the running total. Let's see. So I have already a running total which is I used through other function like YTD and all. So for that I will say running total my new. I'm just putting a new here. Okay. So I will say calculate. I will say my total sales. Then in the filter section I will use the window function. This is my tax function okay so here there are multiple things are there from from type to to type relation order by all these things right so we will discuss four three three four parameters here rest of the things i will make a video other other videos for specifically dedicated to the windows function only but right now we are more focusing on the Pareto principle and more interested on the running total here okay so here suppose from so let's say i am giving a value here called Let's take one from the one, it will start from the one. And there is two kinds of value. One is absolute value, one is the relative value. Okay. So let's take the absolute value as one. Okay. Comma. Second parameter is the two, one, then ABS. Okay. Then then it will take the uh, relations. Relationship in the sense it will you want to create a table under which table you want to perform the running calculation. So for that, I need to create a summarize or the group by you are doing here. Okay. And I will use my all selected here. Why I'm using all selected? Because some, some blank issue will come if you not use the all selected here. For this, I again, I will make a video out of that. But right now, just concentrate on this all selected unit today from the sales table. Okay. Now, comma, I can say the my product, product side. Okay, that's it. Then I will save my order by order by my products product ID. Okay. Now if I keep this function now, okay, and bring this column to let's see. This is my running total new only. Yeah, just bring this. It will just give you the one. It is starting from one and ending at one. Okay, based on that product ID this is doing, it is giving me the first record across all the rows, right? Suppose you have changed to this to zero and make it change to relative here. Okay, and this is also, you make it as relative. All right, if you change this, then you will get individual whatever the values I have for this each individual load I will get the same value here now to get the row uh, the running sum for this I can put something like this so it will start at 1 
always the absolute value uh, and it will refer to the zeroth number row so it will like suppose you are here it will refer from top to bottom and it will give you the running sum here and for the summarize function i have a separate videos of that summarize do check it out on that part how the summarize works okay so this is this is the formula i will paste it this formula in the uh, description also to get the running total here okay now enter now if you see my, i'm getting my running total here if you see all these things so let me just swipe this uh, it should come first and this is 80 percent should be last so what will happen is i can compare okay now let's compare so this is the data and it is doing a running sum okay it is doing a running sum and just look at the data where exactly it is somehow it is near to that or it is matching so 2599 right 2525 yeah 25 somewhere 37384300 so somewhere here okay somewhere here only this 599 records it is it is somehow it is doing it okay so i have what about the product i have these are the products which is uh, it is it is it is for the 20 percent of the sales of my product right so let's see whether it is a 20 percent or it is not a 20 percent let's see that okay so um, let me do that so what i'll do now i will need to calculate when the running total is less than my less than equals to my 80 percent of sales for that only i need my product id so that i can compare how many products are getting involved here okay let's see so here i will create a new measure here one more time okay so for that i'll just put a true false kind of thing okay so true and false what i'm saying that a running total new less than equals to my 80 percent of the sales wherever it is there it just give me the true otherwise you will give me the false okay now let's bring bring this column bring this measure to here so if you see almost true true is coming and almost here this is the true after that it is getting false right almost this is false but the problem with this formula is suppose i want to filter out only the true so if i go to my filter section here i can't put a filter on the true false here it is not allowing me okay this is a peculiar problem in dax so for that what you need to do go to the true false okay and here just put a condition here say if if this is the case put one else zero just give a number instead of true and false here just enter now now we are getting one and zero now we can put a filter on the true and false okay so i will take the true and false is only equals to one right then these are the, then i can remove the true and false from my visualization so these are the products which are uh, involved in 80 percent of the sales of my company right but that is 20 percent or not 20 percent how you will how you can calculate so this is easy right the number of products okay divided by 80 percent of sales so it is it is more than that right if you see that so it is not a good symptom of my company here right so there are more products here so it is not exactly the 20 percent product is getting involved here right so this is the way you can check it out uh, like whether your 20 percent of your product is involved in 80 percent of the sales or not whatever may be you can check it out okay make sense here right so this is the way you can do it so the Pareto principle after that you can represent anything over here okay so any kind of charts and everything and you can just put it across but you understand right how to calculate the 80 percent of sales and how to calculate the running total of the new using the windows function and finally we are comparing the running total to the 80 percent of the sales and wherever it is involved 
we are getting it now you can say that yes now after this we can take a count of the product id that i am not doing right now so you know that everything this is a home exercise you can do that so now we are getting thing now you need to get the total product id count how many products or 20 percent of the product is involved or not involved all these things you need to do the calculation but i given a basic understanding or complete understanding of the Pareto principle what is Pareto principle and how it works okay so hope you like this video do subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this thank you and have a nice day